Hi there, you're in the lab with your mate JJ. So uh, today's part two of the LT Spice video. Um, we finally figure it out in this video, so uh, stick around and I'll, I'll show you how I, uh, how I get my circuit working in LT Spice. Um, and uh, that's all for this video and uh, soon we'll be doing uh, some more projects, some more uh, uh, Maxitronics kits, a couple of book teardowns to come up uh, upcoming, but today we're just concluding the LT Spice uh, demo, not really. I'm learning LT Spice, so today I, I, I complete my first circuit, so it's a bit of a milestone for me. Stick around if you want to see that, otherwise I'll catch you in the next video. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> I, uh, I was having some problems. Uh, modeling uh, this uh, project 9 in the Maxitronics 20 in 1 um, and uh, and I asked over on the EV blog forum for some help you can see uh, uh, this is the schematic that I was working with when I asked the question uh, I said hi there I wonder if someone can help me I'm quite lost uh, what I'm trying to do is model a system of two multi vibrators in LT Spice on the output, I'm expecting to see an audio frequency driving the Piezo Electro buzzer, but the simulation just seems to show a constant voltage of 9 volts. I wonder, can anyone explain what is wrong with my model? Following is a screenshot, and the LT Spice file is available here. Um, and you can see here that um, uh, out, I've got V out is red. Uh, it's over here. Now that V out is just at a constant 9 volts, it doesn't do anything. Uh, so I was expecting to see oscillations there and, and it wasn't happening. So I asked about it and then I got this really handy reply from uh, Lead Tester, which is a hilarious nickname by the way. Um, so uh, they told me um, uh, that uh, to get the, the A-stable multivibrator working, uh, they used a real transistor model of 2N222. 2N222. Which I've obviously heard of before. Apparently this is a famous uh, um, transistor. So, um, which is similar to the one that we have. Um, I made some notes here. Uh, the transistors on the uh, Sensor Robot 20, which we call the 20 in one um, they're ST945 transistors um, and ChatGPT tells me that similar models include the 2N222 and others so since we've got the 2N2222 and that's what our friend suggested that's the one that we'll use now you can specify initial conditions with a thing called an IC directive dot IC uh, I didn't know you could do that now I do so you can uh, add an initial um, condition here they set the voltage of C3 to 1 microvolts for its initial condition. Now that means there's an asymmetry on the capacitors initially which is enough to kick start the oscillator. The oscillator won't start unless there's a, a, some unevenness there. Um, and we actually saw this during testing. Um, sometimes the oscillators just don't start and I think it's because there's a balance between the capacitors. Anyway. Um, so uh, that was the third thing and then he, he said to add the UIC option to the transient analysis directive uh, and then they explained that it's better to upload the files because up the top here what I'd done actually was link them on jj5.net um, but he, he, he said just upload them so that's what I've done I got a comment here from Math Wizard uh, that they usually start the external sources at zero if some circuit oscillator or if some circuit won't oscillate but I'll have to remember to try setting some cap voltage or inductor current if that doesn't work okay fair enough so um, and then I got a note down here I got it working thanks this is the first time I have successfully conducted a non-trivial spy simulation so for me this is a milestone and indeed it is I'm very happy to have arrived here I attached a screenshot of and my ASC file. So let's duck over here. This is the Maxitronics uh, 20 in 1 Project 9 version 3. So this is my third go. Um, I'll just explain some of the things that I've done. You can see that the transistors have all been set as 2N2222. Um, 
and uh, I've added another label down here called B so I've got a uh, label A and label B and then there's label out um, the resistance is still a function of C which is label C over here um, the initial condition for the voltage of C3 is one uh, one micro volt and um, I'll just show you here um, skip initial operating point solution skip initial operating point solution so uh, that's what the UIC option is that um, lead tester told me to do Speci uh, add the UIC option to the transient analysis directive so that's what we've got there and then when you click run and I've got it running now for three that's the second uh, uh, or the first um, option there that three means run for three seconds so on the time axis we've got from zero seconds to three seconds and on the voltage axis we go down as low as minus seven volts and we go as high as a bit more than nine volts <clears throat> now um, we're looking at V out now V out is over here uh, connected to our buzzer and you'll see that when this a stable multi vibrator is is oscillating um, it pulls um, it pulls V out to zero because it facilitates um, the discharge through Q4 uh, sorry through through Q6 um, so uh, uh, it's it's normal state is high it's normally up at nine volts just flowing through here I guess um, but when the when the transistor comes in it, dra it drags it down to zero um, uh, uh, like periodically so that that causes this uh, um, oscillation so when, when you see this going up and down up and down up and down that's our audio frequency uh, which runs for just about two seconds by the looks of it doesn't it so um, uh, uh, the the uh, VA um, here uh, is the voltage at this point, um, and you'll see that it gets dragged. It gets it starts off, and it gets dragged down quite quickly um, to to minus seven volts, <clears throat> and then um, that that causes. Uh, the um, the the uh, the VB to go low down to zero down to zero volts, um, which um, allows the uh, the the oscillator to to oscillate, um, and after two seconds, um, the the resistance. Uh, 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 goes high and the um, uh, voltage at A goes back to zero and then that turns everything off and uh, this just goes back to nine volts there's no more pulse no more pulse means no more tone so um, <clears throat> yeah this is pretty exciting so uh, this is the first time I've successfully really done any uh, spice simulation sort of in anger I, I I got the whole circuit here working now this is the circuit for the Maxitronics 9 uh, the Maxitronics 20 in one well it's not really the 21 it's what I call it but it's actually the Maxitronics sensor robot 20 um, now uh, I've done the first eight projects and I'm working on the ninth one now um, uh, I won't I, I, I will do the um, what will I do? This is part two of my learning LT Spice video series, and I'm just going to do the two of them. So this is the second one, um, and the specific thing that we were looking at is how to model um, the the Project Nine from the from the Maxitronic Sensor Robot Twenty. So um, that's what we've done. I suppose uh, we might as well just begin uh, at, at Project Nine with the uh, LT Spice simulations why not huh so um, I will I will redo um, this simulation uh, as a part of the uh, 
uh, the, the video that I do for Project 9, which I'm going to be recording soon. So, um, so you'll see this circuit again in a future video. But for now, I think um, we can conclude the, uh, the LT Spice introductions. This has been part two. Um, we got it to work, which is so cool. Um, and, uh, and I've learned enough about uh, LT Spice to, to, do, uh, to simulate at least this circuit. Um, so we'll see how we go with the other uh, 10 circuits in the, in the, in the kit. Um, uh, what I'll do um, is I'll make a uh, template uh, uh, to make a template circuit for the Maxitronics um, 20 in one with all of the uh, <coughs> with all of the components available um, so that I, I can uh, more easily create the specific um, circuits for the final 10 projects and I guess I'll I'll do I'll do a, a, a template for, for each of the kits as, as I start them. So um, you can see over here uh, in my Explorer, I've got uh, on my desktop, I've got an LT Spice folder or directory. And in the LT Spice directory, um, I've got some EEV blog notes. Um, th those are circuits that, um, that people have helped me with on EEV blog. And I've got the Maxitronics 20 in one. Um, and uh, there's obviously some drafts. There's one draft file there, which was just me learning during testing. And then there was uh, version one and uh, version two and version three of the uh, project nine file. So three is where we ended up. We got it working on three. That's this one over here, which you can see with the oscillations going for about two seconds. Um, so uh, we'll, we'll just do the same thing in future. We'll have Maxitronics 20 and 110 um, and so on. And uh, <clears throat> um, I, think, I think that's everything to tell you about the, uh, about the LT spy simulation. So this concludes part two of, 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 of our introduction to LT Spice. I think I know enough to be dangerous, so I, I, I'm, I'll look forward to taking on uh, the Maxitronics 20 and 1 Project 10. Um, and that'll be soon. And um, uh, so that concludes this interlude. There was the two interlude videos looking at LT Spice. And so the next videos will be uh, back to your regular scheduled programming. You will see um, uh, the the main electronics project. We're going to be um, we're going to be putting a, 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 a potentiometer in series with a piezo buzzer so that I can test my MIDI synthesizer. So that'll be the next project. Uh, a couple of uh, book teardowns coming up, and I'll book in a new book. I'll announce those soon. And of course, just the regular uh, Maxitronics 20 in 1 projects. I've got plenty of those to do, and I'll be working through them soon. And it won't be long. We'll be through the Maxitronics, and we'll be at uh, 20 in 1, and we'll be moving on to the 30 in 1. I haven't heard back from PCBWay about the. Um, about the um, printed circuit boards, but I am actually going to jump into KiCad and uh, or I'm not sure if it's called KiCad or KeyCad. I've had mixed uh, uh, answers about that. Some people say it's KiCad, uh, ChatGPT says it's KeyCad. I've heard people call it KeyCad, um, but then yeah, anyway, I'm not sure. I kind of like KiCad. I think I'm used to saying KiCad, so that's probably what I call it. I'm thinking of using KiCad to create the PCB for this circuit, the uh, Project Nine of the Twenty in One, um, and I might I might just make that circuit and then just send it to uh, PCBWay and see if they'll build it for me. Um, and if they will, then uh, then I'll, I'll I guess I'll put that in. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll do a separate video for that or something, but uh, we'll see. Anyway, um, KiCad's another thing you can expect to see a little bit more about in the future. Anyway, that's enough yammer, yapp yapping from me. Um, we're, we're, we've uh, successfully completed our LT Spice introduction. Uh, we got it working um, and uh, looks like I know what I'm doing now for future videos. So uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.